Okay, that was good enough. So, guys, it's your boy Simster back at again with a brand new video. And today, we are going to be reacting to Pibby. Come in, come in, learn to Pibby. Now, I have a lot of people talking about this video lately. And actually, I've been knowing about this video since my friend actually showed me, like, the, like, Cartoon Network and, like, how it was, like, making a comeback and with this video. So, I, I wanted to react to it myself, your filming, because, you know, I'm that guy. And hopefully, it is good as the hype lives up to. I did, like, a little mic take, like, a mic take a little earlier, and uh, it did not work. For some reason, after we recorded a bit, I realized that something wasn't right. I went to the thing, and my mic was not working at all. So, I have to re-try this. And hopefully, my mic is on. Hopefully... Things are actually working because I, I looked at the problem, but I didn't see nothing wrong. So I just went for like, no, screw it. This is recording anyways. Just like if I like do that, like, probably something wrong with it or something like that. So hopefully my mic is working and hopefully we get into the video. Now this video, I don't really know much about it, but it's supposed to be like some kid show, you know, some creepy stuff happened. So I'm waiting for that to happen. Let's, go, let's get into it. I mean, this is pretty. I probably shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> Venom? V Venom? Is that is that you? Is, that, is that, oh my gosh, I know. Eh? <laughs> okay. I'm, 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 what happened? What? Why did every other character just disappear? Just bye. <laughs> Get consumed by darkness, child. I guess this. I guess it's a little pro. Like, I, yes, sir. I, I like that. Oh my God, Doge, bro. I know, what? Oh, that's Dodge. Please, I'm. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm sorry, y'all. But hey, at least she got saved by the credits. Wait, why is it theory? Why did she get saved by the? Man, why did everyone else get saved by the credits? I mean, I know they were pretty much all over there, and then they got put under again juicy and all that, but... You feel me? Cartoon Network? Oh, yeah. No, it is Adult Swim. Basically, they're the same company. So, I guess it was supposed to be a Cartoon Network show. Oh, uh, Mr. Flint song? <laughs> Yo, got clapped, bro. But man's got clapped. No, oh my god, what's, what's, nah, bro. Man's really just got clots right here, bro. Yo, that face, though, bro, bro, you're, you're on, I mean, get out of my way. Bro, oh, god. Okay, basically, this man is on his knees right now. He looks like he just got, uh, what's that, what's that long black thing right there? Okay, nah, bro, I'm stop, I'm stop. Oh, yo, yo, what? Yo, what? Yo, we all, yo, yo, hold up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we likes this. We likes this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like this. We got Porky Pig, Amethyst, Bubbles, Finn, Dixie, Gumball, and Clyde? Oh, oh, yeah, there's a Cartoon Network crossover. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I like this. Oh, I'm good. Oh, oh, yo, yo. Shaggy got clapped? Yo, but they literally just confirmed that UI Shaggy was canon. Literally, they literally stated that U UI Shaggy was canon now. So how did he get clapped? <laughs> That's my question. What you doing with that mouth, though? <laughs> Anyways. What's that red water? Never seen that before. Huh? Oh my god! Oh my gosh! What will happen to Jake's? Oh my! What? Oh my gosh! Bro, this is that. This one. This that. Dike. This brings that Daddy XE aura right around here, bro. Nah, bro. <laughs> what was Jake's arm, bro? Like, actually. Jake, for, look, Jake looks pretty fine. 
It's like, <laughs> they look pretty far. <laughs> Oh my gosh! What's that? What's that black stuff coming out your mouth, man? I'm good now. Damn, <laughs> damn, bro, she got right out by her own producers. How are they still alive? I feel like they should be dead. De this isn't Popeye. Mm -hmm. There's no superheroes left. We're mm. the only ones who can save the universe. But I'm just a sidekick, and I'm a villain. How many guys in was like a whole universe, so? Do you so? really think we're going to save the universe with the power of love? Yes. That's all that works. We'll use the power of love. <laughs> hey, man. Hats off to you. You're putting a good joke. I like that though. <laughs> Bringing in the Care Bears. Care Bears is Cartoon Network. Like I knew they wasn't Disney. I knew they wasn't Nickelodeon. But I didn't know Care Bears were a Cartoon Network. I mean, that little more like a Care Rabbit, but I, I guess. <laughs> I mean, Car Care Bears are in everything. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. But maybe we can learn. No. Learning, oh my, oh wait, it is called Learning with Piggies. Yo, wait, what? <laughs> how'd you, how, no, how, how'd you go from girl just trying to teach people how the ABCs are to this? Like, it, I'm be, I'm pretty sure it didn't even take two days. I, I like some music though, but, it, I'm telling you bro, this, Acme? Let me see that gun, oh, Acme. You can't fight the, why, why is the virus standing there just looking at them? Damn, bro. This is... This is creepy and sad. This is creepy and sad. And that music... Oh, my gosh. Dr... I'm about to call him Dr. J Flintstone for some reason. Jetson? Mr. Jetson? I'm telling you, I, I mean, that's like Fred... No, that's Fred Flintstone. Or... Is it Fred Jetson? I mean, they had a crossover once. I remember that, but I forgot everyone's name. I'm not going to I forgot. Like, if someone were to quiz me on the Flintstones and Jetsons, I'd fail. I totally forgot everyone's name there, but I, I'm not that old now. <laughs> but at least they bring in some Boomerang stuff. I feel like Boomerang hasn't got enough pre appreciation, you know, feel me? Wait, they got into the real world? Buttercup, um, Mr. Mrs. Uni Ranicorn, Ranicorn, Planky, it's Plank! Yeah, I'm guessing that's eyebrows, yeah, eyebrows. Oh, that's Darwin! Okay, we got, uh, Unikini, Unikitty, yeah, Unikitty. We got, uh, Steven Users Forces, um, uh, Lion. I do not know who. Oh, look, at. Okay, so this one is talking about like some Ed, Ed and Eddie guy. Yeah, because I heard from my friends like Ed, Ed and Eddie was being this. I'm guessing that's supposed to be him right there. Yeah, I was like, set. My boy Planky, bro. Planky was smack all of them. I'm, I'm, I forgot if his name was Plank or Planky, but I'm, I'm guessing Planky. Or like Mr. Plank or something. I'm calling him Planky. My boy Mr. Planky was solo that entire virus. And I actually like how like the, the sun is like this and then the moon's like, bro, run them hands. <laughs> Samurai Jack. I mean, technically on a power scaling level, Samurai Jack is Cartoon Network's third strongest hero. And then you got Mario too. Oh yeah. Oh, oh my. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Vilma just got clapped. I know y'all saw that. Oh, look at this. B Bugs Bunny got clapped? You told me fiction's actual strongest hero. Care no, not not hero. No, here's the thing. Benton is fictional's most strongest hero. Bugs Bunny is fiction's most strongest character. I mean, I don't care what no one says. Tell me a character who created their own series. No animators. No person who thought of them before they created. No. I'm talking about someone who created themselves and then created their own universe on top of that. Bugs Bunny's soul is your favorite person. No, no, no cap, bro. 
Bugs Bunny Lee Souls your favorite first. But how did he get clapped though? I feel like Bugs Bunny couldn't be clapped by this. But clearly he got clapped, so I guess. I, but I do like the Dottie XE vibes to it. Like, you see all your favorite, like, characters just get chopped and then become some horror characters. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking they, they're especially liking, like, Scooby-Doo and Adventure Time. I feel like that, that, that those are their main targets. But honestly, imagine, like, I know how sad it is just seeing your brother, like, uh, like, how you see, like, Bubbles got clapped by the virus and then Buttercup having to fight her and all that. But I feel like that'd be sad. Same thing with, like, Darwin and Gumball. Like, Gumball was easily top five Cartoon Network's strongest heroes list. And then Darwin having to go against them, bro. That, that's, that's actually sad. That's that Daddy XC vibes, bro. Sonic Daddy XC vibes. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I watched Daddy, Sonic Daddy XC all the time as a child, bro. It was creepy, but pretty good like i like it like it was like the mostly the games not like the keeping that like, people like made like the fan fictions and all that no it was the games that got me into it links four oh yeah bro i used to watch them like every day bro just for the time i see just the warner vibes bro bro I, I love links four bro i'm probably gonna watch some of these videos again bro did, didn't he just get clapped like two seconds ago bro Oh, but that's it. You know what? There was two people I didn't see in there. There, there was two people I did not see inside inside of this video. You know what? Instead of just giving it to y'all off right, I'm going to just let y'all guess who these two people are. I'll give y'all three hints. Three hints. And y'all have to guess to me what that character is. Alright, hint number one. Two of Fiction's most strongest characters. Well, one of them is the strongest character. And the other one... I'll give him top 20. Strongest characters. Number two. Both of them were made by the same creator. And number three. People get them these two characters mistaken... For anime. Both, yeah, of course, both of the characters are cartoon and characters. Come on now. And this, here's to be the give. Here's to be the giveaway. The fourth hit. Here's to be a giveaway. Both of these characters have master controls. If y'all couldn't guess already, Ben Ten and Janet Rex. If you couldn't get that already, then you, you're you're uncultured. That's all, that's all I gotta say. You're uncultured. How? Why weren't these two inside of it? Why weren't these two inside? Of it? Okay, so I have three theories. I have three theories of why this could be the case. Number theory number one, these two are going to be the heroes. I mean, think about it. Think, just think about it. <clears throat> Jenner and Rex's main ability, I mean, yeah, Jenner and Rex's main ability is dealing with technology. Meaning, if there was anybody who could deal with this problem out of all Cartoon Network and Boomerang and Warner Bros, because I'm guessing Warner Bros is in it too, out of all DC, well, not DC, Boomerang, Cartoon Network and Warner Bros. character or Looney Tunes character because I didn't really see like Batman and all that. I just saw like Bugs Bunny. So all three of these characters, General Rex was seen like the best choice for this. Hopefully, these two characters, Ben, ben, two, ben 10 is like immoral. Like he can't be killed. He can't be took in trouble. He can't be clapped. Hopefully, this is the case because I feel like Cartoon Network really did General Rex dirty. Like, yeah, they, they had Happy Meal toys. Oh, yeah, he got a whole crossover with Ben 10, which is something everybody's been waiting for. Which he did win. I don't care what nobody said. He, we won that, but for sure. Like, come on now. He was clapping Ben 10 throughout the whole city. And, uh, I, I'm sorry, but Generation Solo, I man, claps Ben 10. I don't care. And think, just think about it. These, if anybody would have the best chance of surviving this, it would be those two people. Because, ben, instead of four, Ben 10 cannot be taken cool over, or he can't be clapped, and Janet Rex would just override it. So, hopefully, if they do make this show, Janet Rex and Ben 10 are like the heroes of this story, the true heroes of this story. Hopefully. Number two. 
those those two niggas are the one who caused it. Now hear me, now hear me. I know this is dumb. I know this is dumb. But think about it. Let's go back to the Heroes United. Let's go back to the Hero United crossover. Basically, Jenner Rex was able to basically man no Jenner Rex's villain Omega, which is like post who who actually admitted that he will be clapped by Generator Rex. Like, who basically in favor to Jenner Rex in every way, shape, and form, besides he go levitate. But literally, I mean that he was in favor to Jenner Rex in every way, shape, and form. Basically said basically no, basically one tap the army tricks. And basically, yeah, basically he not only took to touch the army tricks, but he basically took the made a perfect clone of the army tricks. While completely shutting down Ben Tens, General Rex had to be the one to turn the Omnitrix back on. Like it was supposed to be permanently shut off, and all with a single tap. Like this, this is how you know Ben Ten beats Ben Ten. But General Rex, well, General Rex beats Ben Ten. But think about it. What if Ben Ten got a new alien? Because remember, as the man of action said, or the creator Ben Ten said, Ben Ten has way more. Alien stronger than Alien I mean, yeah, stronger than Alien X. So, what if Ben 10 gets one of these new aliens or shows one of these new aliens and for some reason when they had their next, their final clash or their next clash ended up in a draw, but it turns out they, since they were dope, since both of them are literally like fiction strongest, okay, out of all cartoon echo characters. They take number one and number two. Like, yeah, Ben 10 could beat me. Ben 10 could beat more characters, or Cartoon Network characters than Jenner Rex can. But in a 1v1 fight, it's leaning more to, like, not dead by wise where Ben 10 goes straight to Alien X. Like, in an actual fight, because as we saw back before in uh, Heroes United crossover, Jenner Rex clapped Ben 10. Clapped. Um, <laughs> you're going to have to see the fight yourselves. It didn't go the far against Omega when they had to tag team that nigga, but either way, Jenner Rex claps Ben 10, yet Ben 10 could be more Cartoon Network characters than Jenner Rex can. Even though for both of them, it's a clean sweep because they're literally the number one and number two strongest Cartoon Network characters. So, either way, they had their next clash. Jenner Rex did one of his new aliens that posted them that their power level is so strong. That it breaks the frame. Because think about it. When Popeye destroyed his own frame. Like, this is why Popeye is one of the most strongest characters in history. De debate about it all you want is just true. But when Popeye did it, <clears throat> Popeye broke the frame of which his show was running on. And then he ended up escaping to the real world. I'm sorry. But who you know threatening his own creators. And the creators obliging with it. I'm sorry, but any character, cartoon character who could threaten their own creators and the creators do what they tell them to do, automatically unlock real nigga status. Popeye's the real cartoon character I know. I don't care. But either way, what if they broke the frame? Because think about it. Popeye's drawn. Back in the day, yeah, all the cartoons were drawn, like hand-drawn. But back in the 2000s age, instead of being draw, they became computer animated. Like, like men on a computer. So since Popeye was running on a frame and when she broke the frame, basically causing the entire show to stop. Like, at that point, it was just Popeye free roaming out of his own show. Now, I couldn't find no clips online, but he was literally broke his own frame and started traveling into the real world. So, I mean, it did take two Popeyes, you know, no, it, no, it did take two, yeah, it did take two Popeyes to get that. No, it actually, no, it was Popeye by himself, no, no, actually, I can't remember the clip right, because I said four, it's basically lost the time, I can't find it no more, but, since, the, it was made by frame, so what if it's like, the computer couldn't take it, and instead of them to just, yeah, instead of them to just, like, Breaking the frame, because, you know, they're not hand-drawn. They're computer-animated. They end up breaking the computer 
they were basically being animated on. Causing this, says they, well, basically, Ben 10 is an all-ending threat, and uh, Generex, I'll give him Brawl Breaker. But what if their powers were too strong? They ended up destroying the computer they were created on, having a mass effect. Because remember, remember back in like the days, like when General Jack was like washing his clothes. Yeah, man, okay, I'm sorry, but if you do not know the clips between the shows, they, they, it was like a short time only, but basically where all the Cartoon Network characters basically like had like his whole crossover. Like, I was just about to say, but, like, like Samurai Jack about to wash his clothes, and then, like, Blossom popped up, and then, like, inside the same washing material, and then, like, you had Ed and they chilling on the street, and then, like, all the characters just traveling on the street. If you do not remember those, you are not a Truth the Thousand kid. Or 1990s kid, for that. You're, you're neither. You're, you're a new gen. You're a millennial, bro. If you, if you can't remember those clips, you're a millennial. No, I'm not joking. So, anyways, what if that happened? Like they had a crossover, a crossover, and they had a mass effect over Cartoon Network and Boomerang. It just spreaded like a virus. It's like it is right there, and basically, those two were basically the ones who caused it. Their powers was too strong. Instead of like breaking like a normal traditional frame, they broke the TV. You know, they broke. The TV, or like the computer, either one, and it basically spread throughout all the shows. And basically, anybody who touches it dies. Like, what if like one of Benton's escaped aliens? Because as if for Benton cannot be killed, canonically cannot be killed. Or I don't know about mind control because he didn't really get mind controlled. Or if he did, I probably wasn't there for that episode. But what if Benton's alien escaped from us? Watch because it did happen before when. When, like, when, oh my gosh, what's that nigga's name? Metal Dude! Um, Kevin. It's fucking Kevin. What, like, when Kevin, they just tried to have the Yami tricks, but it didn't work. So what if Jenna Rex tried to hack the Yami tricks when Jen, Ben 10 was this new alien, but it didn't work? And this, it was the only soul alien that escaped, but since it broke the TV, the alien was cr corrupted. So then it just spread throughout all the TV shows and all of that, basically going on its own. Like, the alien has its own destructive nature. Basically, it's supposed to be like a parasitic alien. Remember, as we said before, Benton has a lot of aliens that was never shown on screen. So this will be a good time for the man of action to show one of Benton's, like, more evil or aliens. Like, more like, paras not parasitic, more of like a... No, I think Paris is Paris. A virus or no, no, par, no. Genocidal? No. I'm gonna just say parasitic. No, because that means you're feeding on somebody. No, yeah, parasitic. One of Generation Man, one of Ben Chen's most parasitic aliens. It basically just start corrupting everybody. Just for like power or something. That would be, I swear, that'd be like one of the best plots of all time. I, I don't care. That would be this best plot. Or the third and the least likely of the two of the three. But what if those two are completely immune to it? So they don't know what's happening. Here's the thing. As said before, Benton cannot be killed. And Jen Rex should always regenerate. In fact, Jen Ben Rex would be the main person who would be immune to it. Like if Benji got corrupted, then I'm sure would just snap him out of it. I, I feel like that'd be the case. Because as soon as I touched the Omnitrix, the Omnitrix would just say, no. And just reject it. Then Generation would be completely immune to it. Because it has no, like, here's the thing. Generation is one of the most underrated fictional characters of all time. Like, if there was a chart, if there was like a scale, no, not a scale. If there was like a, a tier, no, no, a list of the most underrated fictional characters of all time. Generation Rex would easily be top three. Without a doubt, easily be top three. Literally, Generation is literally the strongest fictional character who's dealing with technology. Pin him against Batman. Pin him against Brainiac. Pin him against literally anybody whose primary weapon or primary thing has something to deal with technology. And Ben and Generic Souls. Literally, Generic literally claps Ben 10. Which 
no fictional character besides Popeye or Bugs Bunny can do. So, I feel like Generous would be just completely immune to it. All he had, like, like, the virus is just scared of him. And since there, he's, the virus is, like, scared of, like, his verse, it doesn't go to it. Because he's too scared. And then it turns out when they end the show, when they become in like in the Pibby show, every time Jan Rex comes to wear, or like Ben Tick comes to wear, it's it, it's not shown. Cause here's my thing. Here's my list on like strongest um Cartoon Network characters. Ben Tick and Jan Rex share number one. Jim R. Jack is number two, and Papa Girls are number three. Singularly number three. Like if Papa Girls are like all like if you want to count them as a team. Then they'll take the number two spot. You no, know I feel like Gumball. Yeah. Well, I'm talking about, okay, back then. It, it'd go Benton and Jerry Rex tied, Powerpuff Girls and Samurai Jack. Like nowadays, just replace Samurai Jack with Gumball. Because. No, because then Samurai Jack beat it Satan, but then the Void, and then all that crap, so. No, I'll put, I'll put Gumbo on top, and Shamrock Je- Je- Jack is an honorable mention. So that's basically my tier list, because both for both Jamrix and Ben 10 could be the same amount of Cartoon Network characters, which is basically all of them. Je- do you think Jamrix should not be killed either? Well, he can be killed, but he has a good regenerative factor, as we've seen in the show plenty of times. If you like slice slice off his arm, he could basically grow a new one instantly. That was just was the exact same as like the other one. Basically, he has like a, a Wolverine gen- regenerative factor. Nah, not Wolverine. Wolverine's is like pretty. You no, know, that was after the 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 whole Japan thing. Um, I feel like Hawk would be the good choice. Yeah, Hawk. He has like a Hawk like regenerative factor. So. He wouldn't really be full per- permanently damaged by Gumball or Powerpuff Girls, giving them enough like time to like know their weaknesses and beat them. Even though Powerpuff Girls have no weakness, nor Gumball. Well, I feel like Gumball's weakness could be like comedy, like anything cartoon logic would could beat Gumball. But either way, basically, just all I'm saying is they're just immune to it. Like, just completely immune to this. Well, I'm sorry, but hopefully, if they do create this show, hopefully my first guess was correct. My first theory was correct. Because I feel like J- ben- J- Cartoon Network did Jen Rex absolutely dirty. Like, I will even go as far to say, Jen Rex, Jen Rex got played the most dirtiest, wet, I mean, the most dirtiest out of all Cartoon Network shows. Yeah, I'm going to say shows. Yeah, I guess. The show as a whole got played. I'm not even gonna lie. So I'm not I'm not done with this, so I don't really know if he's like completely immune to damage, like if he's like invincible or something. But because I'm on like the final episode, so I'm gonna have to watch the rest of that. I'm I'm just scared to like finish the show and be like over done with it. Cause Jenner Rex was my favorite show growing up. So if I I feel like if I were to like watch it then it, I'd just be empty inside. Like, so, I don't want that to happen. So, that's why I don't, I don't want to finish it, but I know for a fact I'll have to finish it. Just so I get the, my information correct. But either way, so, hopefully they give Jairus the justice he deserves. The justice he rightfully deserves. It makes him the hero of this story. Because Cartoon Necro screwed him over horribly. So... I th- that's going to be it for the video, guys. Like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see y'all guys later. Peace.